Hello, lovely viewers. You are welcome to today's edition. And we are going to continue from where we left the other day. Okay. We are going to continue from where we left the other time when we met. I think the other time we created only one table. And today we are going to, we are going to continue. We are going to add three more tables to the first table we have already created in our database so please just pay attention or bear me your time okay so we just have to first open or we have to launch our access to look for our work so the one which is on the desktop by the one which is uh, at document the location is here you can see the location name okay always check the location to and the file name so I will click on it and it will open for me so this is where we left the other time and as you can see my file name is here okay yeah so let's open and see yeah this is our first table okay yeah I think the other day I forgot something small to tell you about the telephone so today I'll just use some few minutes to explain something small to you okay so I'll turn to the design view of the customer table when it comes to the telephone we can make it shortest okay after making it shortest we can also after selecting short, short test, we have to at least restrict the users to some limits. Okay, so we are going to do an input max. So the moment we do an input max, the system is going to give us a uniform presentation. Because if you don't do the input max and we just make it short test, someone can start with plus two. 3 3 then 5 4 5 6 yes some can also start 0 5 1 5 yeah you see there will be difference in it and we are we are going to receive the information from a lot of people a lot bear in mind whenever you are creating database you are not creating it for your family or something you are cre creating it for the entire world okay so to set your input max you just have to press and hold the shift key you just have to come to the field property select the data type to be short test then you come to the field property then you press and hold the key you press and hold the shift key okay the shift key on your keyboard okay one is under the caps and one is also under the enter key okay so you press and hold then you press 9 we open bracket then three zeros okay so this is how the format will be then after the three zeros sorry sorry for that okay you open it one two three after the three zeros you close the bracket then you bring your hyphen okay another three zeros one two three then your hyphen okay then one two three four so this is how it will be when you turn it the zeros will vanish but the bracket and the hyphen will never vanish it will come out so it could it will be when you start from zero two zero here will be zero two zero then the rest will follow will follow okay so please take note of that so this is how the input max works okay we are restricting the users not to type more than what we are expecting okay so this is how all the format will be then you save it save changes and turn to the data sheet view where we are going to enter some records so the first record from the table is david forsen and the p.o box is p.o box 20 P.O. Box 20, 
Then when we are done like this, you press the tab key on your keyboard. Then the city is what? Cape Coast. Cape Coast. Okay. When you are done with the city, the region is what? Central. Central. Okay. And the telephone, please don't do anything. Just press the tab key. The tab key is on the left hand side of the queue. The tab key, when you are done, just press it. Then you start typing the telephone number 020. The system will bring the format automatically 944 8877. Okay, when you are done, you press the tab key again, it will bring you here. Then you send, you do the next one is also somewhat bones Samuel bones okay P.O. box P.O. box one two three and the town is in Coco and the region is what Eastin. And the telephone number is C. I did not type in anything, but the system will bring the format that we did at the input mark. And the telephone number is 024455 When you are done, you press your tab key and it will send you here. Here we don't type here because we have set the system in such a way that the system will automatically generate the numbers for us. And the moment you set the system the field name the data type to be an auto number we don't type here and it will come as what new the only thing you just have to do is press your tab key and move on to the next one which is the network boku dnet boku see po box box 355 please when I'm done with this one I'll move on to and the sorry uh, the city is Accra and the region is greater greater Accra okay and the telephone number is 026 509 509 0899 okay so for now I'm done okay I'm not going to type in the rest of the records which is the seven with the remaining seven so when I'm done with it I will just save it and close it okay it has already been saved because whenever you add a design a data sheet view where you are entering record it has already been saved so you save it and please let me remind you whenever you are entering record enter it like this horizontally okay horizontally or record horizontally please don't do it like this columnally or vertical we don't want it in vertical we do it horizontally Okay, so take note from north to south is vertical. We don't want it that way. And from east, uh, I don't know, either from east to west or west to east is horizontal. So please take note from your right to left is horizontal. We want it that way whenever you are typing in record. So take note. So we close it and we are going to create a new table. Okay. Because as for the customer table, the moment we created the database access, the first one, the system came out with a default table called table one. So we only edited it to suit the first table, which is customer table. So we are now going to create our own table. And to create our own table, we have so many tabs over here. We have file tab, home tab, create tab, external data tab, database to tab database to stop and here is called ribbon from here to here it's called ribbon okay and here is called tab so this time around we are going to create our new table okay and the next table is what employee 
we are going to create employee table so to create an employee table you just have to click on create and when it comes to create we have templates tables queries forms report and what macro and code by this time around we are creating a table okay we are creating table so you just have to after clicking on the create tab this is the create tab please take note after clicking on the create tab you click on the table like this you wait it will appear like this we it brings us back to when we created the database it came with a default table called table one a default field name called id this is the field name called id and the default data type as well auto number but here is the case we want to create what employee table or employee entity okay another name for table is entity sorry so to create our table we have our table one over here to edit it to suit our next table which is the employee you just have to click on the design view this is the design view okay or you can just click on this arrow and the data sheet view and the design view will appear because we are the data sheet view right now see this icon has changed to where the design view it means the moment you click on it it will turn to where the design view of the table because right now we are the data sheet view and i've told you the difference between the data sheet view is the data sheet view you are entering record and the design view you are designing the tables how you want it to be and you can also find it them here okay this is the design view and this is the data sheet view so right now we want to save it to see the employee you just have to click on the design view icon just click on it the ruler with what a pencil inside just click on it and it will ask you table name and the table name is what table one but from our table is what employee so we just type in employee let's see employee okay Oh, let me, let me make it all caps employee okay employee so the moment we are done you click on ok so this is our new table and the first field name we have on this on we have on the question is what customer now and the first field name we have here is what id okay so we just have to edit it and make it what employee what norm okay employee norm so you just have to edit it employee norm please no space and the data type is what auto number the same as this one so we maintain it and we move on to the next one the next one is what title so title the data type will be what shorted because title involve mr miss it's alphabet and we can get alphabet through what short test or long test and there's no way a title car test is more than 255 okay and when it comes to the field properties please take note whenever you change you select short test to be the data type you can also change the field size you can let's make it five the moment we make it five like this it means we cannot type more than five characters under the title it means we can't type more than five characters under the title so please take note we move on to the next one which is the first name the same as f name okay f name is your shortest l name shortest the next one is job position okay job position is what shortest and the next one is address address is also shortest because it involves both numbers alphabet a both numbers and alphabet and columns whatever the next one is after the job position the next one supposed to be 
add um, salary by it's okay we can bring it here salary okay and data type for salary is what currency because because it involves it what cash so take note of that something which involves it what money that's the data type we got currency so you select it currency and the last will be what city okay city city is what short test okay so when you are done with everything you just have to save it save it then you turn to the data sheet view okay the moment we turn to the data sheet view you have to what, enter records okay now for already told you anytime is you make a particular field name the data type to be an auto number we don't type over there because when you make it auto number you see new over here it means you can't type it so we move on to the next one i'll just type in one or two records then you move on to the next one so the first one is mr wayungu then i'll type in my mike and the last name is And the job is short CEO and PO box. PO box is 20. And the salary is short. Please, when it comes to the salary, no matter the currency symbol you have, the most important thing is you have. A currency symbol in front of it or you have selected the right data type which is the currency whether you have pound cities dollar euro symbol it's okay maintain it that we don't try to change it it's okay it is accepted so the salary is for thousand five hundred when you use the tab key you just have to type in thousand five hundred don't have to type in the symbol okay thousand five hundred then the city is Kumasi okay when you are done you press your tab key okay the next one is miss then your tab key christy christiana christiana what yeboa and she is office manager okay PO box and the address is 14 and the salary is what 1002 and the city is Sunyani okay so we are done the moment we are done you just close it okay you close it <coughs> sorry you close it you are done you move on to the next table which is a product table so you come back to the create again you click on create then table okay when you click on table then your design view okay with your design view and the table name is what product then you click on OK. After clicking on OK, the first field name is what? Item. Item norm. Item norm. And the first data type is what? Auto number. So we maintain it. The next one is item name. And the data type is what? Short test. And the last one is retail price and the data type is what currency because it involves is what cash okay so you selected currency please let me remind you okay we can assign our forward to you 
a primary key is a unique key that it's a unique key that identify a record in a table so when you check from these three field names we have and when you check from the values you have on the table as for the item number it's only with one two three four five none, none of them has repeated because a primary key does not repeat itself and it must not repeat itself so you can make a primary key to be the item name or the retail price because prices of an item can be the same so take note of that okay and to assign a primary key to a field name you just have to click on the field name like this then you click on the primary key pa, it will come or you click on the field name right click on it then you click on the primary key this is how it is done so please take note of that this is how it is done okay so when you are done we are done designing the table for now so we turn to the data sheet we receive it because i did not save it first the system is asking me you must first save the table do you want to save the table now yes i have to click on it i've told you whenever you are creating a table or you are designing a table and you are the design view please save your work because if you don't save your work and the light goes off you are going to use lose everything so please take note and please take note thank you very much yes then it will send me here the same way i will not type on the first field name so i'll move on to the first item and the first item on my list is mock okay and the price is what 26 cities and the next one is milo and the price is 30 cities and the next one is sugar 